Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you have recently just subscribed, thank you so very much and I hope you enjoy my videos. Today my topic is meat. What you don't know about me is that sometimes if there is a steak and it's getting a bit old, what tends to happen is that they get blood from the meat that they might have and they'll like dip it and like turn it over in the fresh blood that they have around so that way when you purchase the meat it looks fresh and juicy don't think that the meat is fresh you might just get one that's just about to go bad and it's just dipped in blood now if you're getting ground beef don't be so picky about it because if you get a pink meat, it might be just uh, re-grounded with fresher ground beef. Sorry. It might be grounded with fresh red ground beef. And then you have that gray one and then you mix it and grind it together and then you get a pink meat, ground meat. And then there you go. You take that home and it's a mixture of different types of meat. Okay, so you might want to be careful of ground beef. Like let's say you get steak or asada meat. Um, what tends to happen with that is that when that's already going to expire, it's about to go bad, they will season it with seasonings and uh, you know onion and cilantro and all kinds of things that they decorate the meat with. They will actually do that to hide away the actual scent and the color of the meat that's going back. And the crazy part about that is that it's actually a little bit more than the regular meat. So, you should think about being so picky next time when going to the meat. I mean, to the, to the store. You can't really be so safe about meat. You might want to think twice before purchasing meat again. Now, it's not just meat we're talking about. You have that whole cake and they try to sell it for whatever maybe. I have no idea what the prices are for cakes. And uh, what happens is if they don't sell that, they'll cut it in half and they'll try to sell it by that half for a little bit of a lesser price. Um, it might be the same price, I don't know. And just because you don't eat so much or maybe because it's just you and you think that half a cake would be best, best for you, um, you might want to think twice about that also. What tends to happen is if they don't sell the big uh, round cake or square or whatever shape it may be, then they'll cut it in half and they'll try to sell that. If that doesn't sell, then they'll cut it into slice, into slices. And then that's how they would sell the cake. And that cake may have been one that has been sitting out in the shelf for a long period of time. So you may want to think about buying things in the deli. So now this is only for me and cakes, pastry that I know of. Also, sometimes they take off the fruit from the cake or little whatever they may have. They'll take off the, the fruit because that's one of the uh, fastest things that, that will rot. And then they'll just replace it with fresher fruit and then sell it to us. So I think that's so just disgusting. And I used to like getting a little slice of cake instead of buying a whole big cake. I think I never got sick. Well, I don't remember getting sick off of it, but you might want to be careful. Okay? Thank you so very much for watching my channel. And if there is anything that you would like me to do a video of, let me know. Please subscribe down below. You just click on the subscribe and it will notify you every time that I post a new video. Also, leave a comment and or like my page down below. Thank you so very much and I hope this video helps you and your family eat a little bit more healthy. Why not? Just kidding. Sometimes, actually, I will eat meat, but I try not to eat meat. I'll eat chicken, but I try not to eat meat. And also, I feel bad for the animals, so. I'm just trying to reduce eating meat. I'm not saying I don't eat meat, but I try not to eat.